guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Jillian and today I have a kitchen organization video for you guys so I'm going to be cleaning out and organizing all of my cabinets well only a few of my cabinets I'm not going to say all because I think I'm only going to do three because the cabinets that my dishes and my cups and mugs and all that that doesn't need to be organized it's already organized I keep those very organized um and then I have another cabinet that literally only has a blender and a rice maker. And then my cleaning cabinet also is already cleaned, but there is three that desperately needs to be cleaned out. My Tupperware cabinet, my pots and pans, and then I just have like one random one that I keep like extra like silverware and also like party stuff. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna clean out those three cabinets and I'm going to pull everything out. I'm just gonna wipe down inside and then just organize it as best as possible maybe throw anything out that maybe is broken or missing a lid and then my random cabinet i think i have a few things in there that don't even belong in there so i will pull those out and put it in its right place so let's just jump in to this kitchen organization video all right you guys so this is my tupperware cabinet and i have some tupperware in there i also have my cutting boards and then a few bowls and as you guys can see everything is just falling over and then over here is where i keep all of my pots and pans and then i also have a few baking dishes on the top and this wasn't too bad because i don't have that many pots and pans but i did want to clean that out and then over here is more of like a junk cabinet i have a lot of extra silverware i have some baskets and just like some party stuff all right you guys to start off i'm just going to do section by section cabinet by cabinet anytime i organize or declutter you guys know i like to go by sections because if i pull everything out from all the cabinets at once seeing everything laid out it just gets me overwhelmed so i like doing it this way this is what works best for me so i'm going to start off in my tupperware cabinet and i'm going to pull everything out and then i'm going to go ahead and wipe down the inside with this method anti back spray and then once that is cleaned off off, I will get rid of any Tupperware that I do not want or that's maybe missing a lid or just super old and then I will place everything back in as neatly as possible. Girl, you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you'll break your back to make me feel again. asking for forgiveness because you should know only fools tread with the angels fear to go but you keep trying to get too close save myself by turning into stone so save your judgment because you just don't know but some things never change never change oh they say i should feel guilty and change my ways even crumple bodies in my wake swear Thank you. 
So after I finished decluttering and organizing the cabinets, there was some crumbs and like pieces of paper on the floor from the cabinets from me cleaning them out. So I went ahead and just swept the entire kitchen. you guys so this is the after and i swear every time i do one of these organizing type videos i feel like i'm doing a good job and then at the end i feel like it just looks all crammed but i don't know i guess it looks better than before but up here i have all of like my cutting boards i have some bowls down here i have these like little containers i bought from dollar tree they're great for like on the go like snacks and lunches I have a measuring cup there over here is like all the Tupperware so I decided to use this little plastic container I got from Dollar Tree it's originally supposed to be for like soda cans but I thought it would be perfect to store all of the kids like little containers I use for their lunches so it works out perfect so I fit six in here and then this one I bought I think from like Marshall's or something so I just stuck it in the front like that and then in this basket, which I bought from Dollar Tree as well, I stuck some more of their like little plastic containers. So there's like two sandwich containers back there and then like a little snack bowl and then a thermos, another little sandwich um, container for the kids' lunches. And then this is all of my Tupperware. So I like glass Tupperware. So I think this is the only plastic one that I have, but all this is like just glass Tupperware. And it's honestly not expensive. You can buy them from like, um, Home Goods and Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I think this was like only like two dollars. So depends on what size you get, but they're really affordable. I like them. So and then these I bought from the Target Dollar Spot, I believe, last year. So that's how this little cabinet looks and like. They're over here, and I really don't have that many pots and pans, but I have some right here. That I just put down here, and then my pots. And I don't know. This is the best way I thought I can store it. Then up here, I just have some like baking dishes. And then over here, I have all the lids. Doesn't look very appealing, but I did pin a hack on Pinterest that I'm gonna do. Um, you get like a magazine holder and then you can place the lids. So once I find one, I'm gonna do that. But for now, I just stacked them there. So that is how this cabinet looks and this like. this is the last cabinet that I organized and I literally took everything out and a lot of stuff didn't belong in there. So I took it out and put in their correct spaces. But this is like a little cabinet that we keep extra stuff. So up there in the corner, that's our pasta maker. So sometimes we make homemade pasta and that's the machine we need. This is just some extra like baking dishes. This one's like in the shape of a heart and these don't fit underneath my oven. Um, and this is an extra baking rack from the oven. In that box, we just have some extra silverware. And then for like party stuff, I just have this dish that I keep down here. Those I usually use for like wine to put ice in and then put wine in when we have get togethers and then that little um, canister jar. I forgot what those are called, but I bought that from a Walmart like three years ago. I have these faux flowers down here just because I have some fresh flowers up there on my counter and that's usually up there. So until those flowers die, it's gonna stay down there. Some vases and then just a basket. Sometimes I use that basket for like my fruits, but I have a different basket out right now, so. That is how that one looks like. All right, you guys, so that is going to end my kitchen clean and organize with me. This has been on my to-do list for so long and that for some reason, I've just been holding off and putting it on the back burner and I don't know why because I was able to do this so quickly. As you guys saw, I cleaned and organized it fairly quickly. I really don't have that much Tupperware pots and pans and all of that. So that's why I was able to clean and organize it so fast. In my old house, it definitely would have taken me 
over an hour to do because I was a huge hoarder and I would hold on to so much stuff that I just did not need. Now that we're in this new house, I'm trying to be better with hoarding things and also letting things go that I don't use or don't need. And it's definitely paying off because I was able to knock this off my list really quickly, which makes me really happy. Now when I go to look for some Tupperware or pots and pans, everything's not falling all over me. So definitely worth me finally cleaning out my kitchen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's kitchen organized and clean with me. I am enjoying doing all these cleaning and organizing videos because I know you guys enjoy it, but it's also getting my house super clean and organized, which is always a good thing. It gets me in a really good mood to have a clean and organized house. So hopefully I could have motivated at least one of you guys to get something done in your own house. Don't mind the squeaking. My daughter has her squeaky shoes on, but hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I will have a lot more motivational cleaning videos out for you guys soon. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.